Cottage in Texas City, Texas. We're super proud to announce we are now an authorized reseller of Mud Paint Vintage Furniture Paint. Today I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on how fun and easy mud paint is to use. So the first thing that we want to do is prep our piece for painting. Remove any hardware that's on there and give it a good cleaning. Just get all the dust and dirt off. So now that our furniture is ready to be painted, let's get started. With your brush, make sure that you don't dunk your brush in. You want to get just a little bit of paint on the end, just a little bit. This paint goes so far. Two things to remember when you're painting. Every paintbrush is going to shed bristles. So if you end up with a little bristle, go ahead and take it off and then just paint right over the top. We don't want bristles. They will dry and be there forever. The second thing, we don't want drips. So if you overload your paintbrush and you get a big drip, it's gonna be there forever also. So you wanna make sure and get your drips and get them smoothed out. Okay, so we have our first coat on and I'm gonna show you guys kind of what it looks like. Again, I paint thin because I don't like the drips, and this particular piece, as you can see, there are some areas where the underlying finish shows through, so we're going to apply a second coat to this piece. Okay, we have two coats on, and I just want you guys to know that with two coats on this piece, I've used maybe an eighth of a can, so your mud paint goes a really long way you'll get tons of pieces out of one quart of paint. Today we refinished and enhanced this elegant piece with two coats of mud paint. For more advanced furniture painting techniques such as whitewashing, antiquing, decoupaging, and image transfers, and more, come take one of our workshops. Come on in. We would love to help you select the perfect color of mud paint for your next project. Until next time, happy painting from all of your friends at the Color Cottage.